Announcement! Announcement! Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, before this video begin, I have a special announcement to make. You might notice something different. Is it, is it the glow? Is it the fake? Boy, if you don't- Is it- no? No? Okay. Besides that, let's get right to it, okay? I have done something different to my hair. Y'all ready for the my new form? Y'all ready for the new form? Alright, here we go. Three, two, one. Yes! Ladies and gentlemen, I have dyed my hair two different colors. Not one, but two different colors. I went for like a baby blue fruit punch pink. It's kind of faded now. Don't worry about it. It's been a while since I had it in my hair now. But I decided to get to it and record this video for you, plus a new story time. But without further ado, I know y'all love the hair. Why did I do it? Because I could and because I wanted to because I always thought of this. So without further ado, let's hop right into this story time. Woo! Yo, no cap. I hate seagulls with a passion. Like, I, I just hate them. Seagulls are the worst animals to ever exist. And here's exactly why I hate seagulls. I work at a summer camp for like my first two years of my high school experience. So normally we go on trips at like every Thursday, every other Thursday, the, the usual. So at the end of our summer camp, we would always take the kids to go to the beach. Ladies and gentlemen, the beach is the most beautiful place you can ever go. It's the most relaxing experience of your life. You got no worries, you got no stress, you don't need to worry about a thing. You are there to have fun and you are there to do you, my guy. You are there to do you. When it comes to seagulls, they are vicious. They do not play. If they are hungry, they will go get some food. They not waiting for nobody to tell them what to do. They want it, they will get it. No cap. Now, when I was at the beach, right, I have to survey the kids, make sure they all safe, they all fine, ain't nobody gonna get hurt. None of that. So we take the kids to go play in the water and in the ocean and in the good old sandy beach of, of their own lifestyle, right? Now, for some reason, we took them at one of the worst inconvenient times because when we got there, they have something called high tide feeding season or feeding session, whatever you want to call it. They had that for the seagulls at this beach. So whenever the tide roll in, there'll be mad fishes coming aboard the shores. So what does that mean for the seagulls? It's feeding time. So ladies and gentlemen, while we were at the beach, in the water, we noticed this was happening. So what did we do? We took the kid out of the water, obviously. But here's the problem as to why I hate seagulls. So as we took them out the water, the seagulls had their own feeding session and they're done right so we see that it's safe to bring the kids back in the water to play for more like a couple minutes or whatever to have their little fun time so we get back in the water and as we get back in the water i look out to the ocean towards the other like rocky islands or whatever to see what's out there right i'm mixed adventurous i like to explore i want to know what's around me just for my safety and for everybody to see as well. So as I looked out through the other place, it was my worst mistake ever made. As I looked out towards the other place, guess what rolls up out of nowhere? A seagull! Now you may be wondering, what does that have to do with you hating seagulls and let me tell you exactly why I hate seagulls it's because this is the first encounter with a seagull that I would never forget as I looked out a seagull flew by and scraped my head with its claws ladies and gentlemen 
when I told you I never felt fear like this in my life, I ran for my life. I was screaming. I rolled up out that water so quick. Aquaman didn't know what to do. I felt like I was Aquaman mixed with a flash or something. But whatever happened, I didn't like it. It scraped my head. I ran out that water and I was screaming for my life. I hate seagulls because of this. Now you made me want to get just overreacting. It wasn't that bad. Now let me go on to part two as to why I hate seagulls. So we take the kids back again next year. This is my second year working at my job for the summer camp, right? We take them back to the beach for their last trip of the year for the summer before they go back to school. And this time with my seagull encounter, it happens when we are eating lunch. As everybody's eating, they hand up their lunches, the sandwiches, they get their little milkies, all the above. They had it, they were eating it. As for yours truly, I had me a nice good old sandwich with a good old nice aloe vera beverage with some water. And other things too, just for my drink, just to stay hydrated. But as I was eating my sandwich, I felt a presence just roll up on me and I didn't feel too comfortable with this presence. So I'm like, all right, from where I am, I'm gonna go just throw out my lunch real early just for my safety and well-being. And I should have never done this, but I end up doing this and here is exactly what happened. I go to throw out my lunch, I take one last bite out of my sandwich before I say, all right, I'm done and I'm gonna go back to me and head to where everybody is. I look up in the sky and I notice that there's a seagull, two seagulls matter of fact, there wasn't just one of them say, all right, there's only one of you and I'm gonna let it be. There was two of them. So I said, all right, you know what? Obviously I know what they want. Now you would have thought the smart thing to do is to just throw the bread, the rest of the sandwich in the trash and call it a day, right? Sadly, that is not what I did. So I decided to be nice and actually feed the seagulls the rest of the bread instead of throwing it. So I chucked the bread to like a good distance away from me and away from everybody else too to make sure everybody's safe. Immediately, the seagulls go right after it. Now, I would've thought that would've been it. Rest of the story, I'm done. But I was sadly mistaken because after I do that, the seagulls came for me! Like, who, like, why? Why, why, why would that happen? I have no idea as to why, but it did. And the next thing I did wasn't my proudest moment of my life, but certain things had to happen and certain things had to be. And this is exactly what happened. So, what happens here I had ran back to everybody. Cause I'm like, I'm not about to go down by myself cause the two seagulls want to chase me for some more food that I don't got. So I ran to everybody else. And this is why I said I wasn't proud of this because <laughs> for some reason I still had food in my hand that I forgot to throw out that I thought I threw out but apparently I held on tight to it and I dipped to everybody else. And I see the seagulls coming I had the remaining food out in my hand and I chucked it to like not at everyone but near the area of where everybody was. So the seagulls that went for that bread, they came over here now. And now everybody's lunches are in danger because the seagulls are rolling up next to everybody now looking for food. And I'm like, that wasn't the smartest idea, but certain things had to happen. I'm sorry. I couldn't go down with the ship. I, I couldn't go down by myself. Everybody had to come down with me. I'm sorry, but it had to happen. And as for that, everybody's lunches got endangered, but nobody got pecked by seagulls like I did the first year or the first time. And this is exactly why I hate seagulls. Yeah, seagulls suck. Well, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I hope you enjoyed today's story time. And with that being said, I will see you all in the next one. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and tell your friends about us too. They might like this one. They might like the other videos. Who knows? 
But tell your friends, we almost at 200 subs. We got bigger, better things planned. With that being said, I will see you all in the next one. Take care, ladies and gentlemen. Fade to black.